hello guys so we have another battery repair and this one seems to be like common repair uh, basically common fault this is third battery and the same fault that I got second time and it's basically easy repair if you know what you're doing and uh, I'm a little bit confused from this repair posting the video randomly I apologize but I just can't do any scenarios or whatever I'm doing this as a just a hobby and in my free time it's time to sleep so I wanna crack on so I'm gonna show you what is going on and yeah, maybe we will introduce um, he's using electric bikes for more than 10 years he's been using them basically all electric bikes we had four of them all of them failed like one two years because there was corrosion in in connector when I, once i fix it and uh, actually seal the connectors internally with contact spray and seal them around with silicone these bicycles are working for 10 years literally for 10 years with no issues so that's that's just how I test these batteries I bought a lot of scooters just for batteries so now I am repairing batteries and testing them on electric bikes like however I got scooter as well so don't use a scooter but it's a good thing it will take some parts out of force a fifth that's a great thing so even a bit faster we can put on the scooter that's a big advantage but anyway electric bike the best thing ever you can avoid traffic jam you are saving a lot of time some money uh, you don't have to use that car that's petrol okay let's uh, I will I will set this video like part two because part one because I think there is more videos and if I repeat some battery I apologize I just I will just throw it there uh, as it is because I did video I don't remember if I paused them or not so apologize in advance so let's crack on on this one and standard fold so what I did as I got the one video I, I open this connector here right you can check that video how I did it but here I was measuring between basically this is plus and I was measuring between those first triple of cell second and third third triple was fully charged was a little bit more of course if i let it on full charge for long it will balance but i just discharge it and figure out that that this third triple basically went to 3.5 4 volts very fast while all other batteries around were 3.8 so it looked like uh, one cell work working or some cell faulty or lower capacity but of course I did a mistake because I opened it and I just I was just like I'm gonna replace the cell so I cut it here you see I will post video about cutting maybe that will be part two but uh, I cut it here because I expect to replace this and then once, once I cut it I open it on the other side and as you can see here there was this crack you see this cut so this is in my opinion the most common fault what this is gonna happen with your battery in this case it cracked between two batteries and, and you see this plastic here is thinner so it's a weak leak and why is that 
basically the battery is fitted here four screw some bad scooters got only two it's the best to uh, disassemble new scooter and check and do, do maintenance straight away but as you can see there was a silicone here and it was nicely attached but in the middle it's actually further you see it's further why because the battery is heavy as you ride the middle is bending with a battery like this cells like this and it's bending it's bending like this because the battery is heavy hanging bending in the middle so from that bending you will get this so now i try to bend it like manually on my own right so as you can see it's getting a little bit further so so here the weak lick and the second battery i had was the same between cells so that one stopped working at all and uh, yeah basically this one battery which was working was 3.4 but these cells were 3.8 so it broke when it was on 3.8 eventually i did two cycles only on that one battery and it was working even with one battery so the cells was probably good however one repair was faulty cells yeah, it's possible then one cell short and shorted another two so basically what is my advice you definitely open both sides and check because now i will have to solder this this i will solder strip over it which will be loose to avoid this but what you should do when you put battery in scooter and screw the bottom you should definitely put some silicone or something especially in the middle to avoid this bending so this will be common fault and it's easy repair thanks for watching